Welcome everybody, welcome back to Homestead Heart. And today in this video, we are getting started on our next batch of canning. And we are gonna be canning carrots. Y'all stay tuned. y'all so in canning carrots this is going to be the most simplest process it's one of them i already have green beans in the canner and they are getting ready to get canned up they're already on the way so we're moving on to carrots so we're going to start getting the carrots together i have carrots here they don't look so good but they're going to be good right i'm just going to get these peeled up and I'm gonna show you the process. I have about 20 pounds of carrots right here. So this should give me maybe about five to seven quart jars, the 20 pounds, we'll see. And I also have my trusty mandolin. I am not gonna be cutting up all them carrots by hand with no knife. So we are gonna be using our mandolin. But first we gotta get them all peeled up, okay? So I just have my regular peeler and I also have my bag, my baggie with the with the green bean mix, I mean with the green bean stuff in it. And I'm gonna be throwing all the peels in here and this is gonna be going again to the compost pile. So we're just gonna go ahead and get these carrots peeled. Now, some people don't peel their carrots. Some people just wash them and scrub the skins real good. But, and then they just cut them up that way. But I don't want to do that. I don't want the skins. I'm just going to peel mine. It's up to you how you do it. But I prefer peeling it. These carrots came from a farmer's market. And I've had them for about a week in the bag so they don't look the best. See that? See the spots on them? But when you peel it, comes right off. No harm, no foul. So I'm just gonna get them all peeled up. I'll bring y'all back when I'm done with this. Y'all don't wanna watch this part, right? So y'all stay tuned or can along with me, okay? So you, if you're canning along with me, Go ahead and get your your carrots all peeled up as well. And we'll meet back here in a moment. Y'all see that spot right there? I'm not going to throw away this carrot for that. My mama would be like, you're not going to throw that whole thing away just for that one little, don't you throw that away, just cut that part off, cut that part off. Y'all, my mama is known for that in our family. You don't throw away stuff because it look bad. Just cut that part off. All right, so I got the carrots all peeled up and now I'm just cutting off the ends. I don't like leaving the ends of the carrots on, right? So I just cut off the tips of my carrots. And that way, I just feel more comfortable with cutting off the tips. All right, y'all. So now we're going to go ahead and get these carrots sliced up and get them ready for canning. A lot of goodies for the chickens. They're going to love this stuff here, y'all. Okay. Carrots are cut, and now it's time to get them sliced up. And all I'm going to do is use my mandolin to get them cut up. If you don't have a mandolin, of course, you can slice these by hand. But if you do have a mandolin, it makes it go a lot faster, and your slices are even as well. So I'm just going to use this to 
get them all cut up. And I have mine on a thick cut as well. Okay, the carrots are all done. 20 pounds cut and ready to be canned. Before I can them, I'm gonna take them over to the sink and give them a, a nice rinse and uh, <laughs> Strain them off real good, and then I will come back and show you what we do next, okay? Jackson. Let's give them a rinse. All right, y'all, I'm back, and it's time to get the carrots in the jars. I just pulled my jars out of the oven. These jars are nice and warm to the touch. What I'm gonna do now is go ahead and get my carrots added to the jars, okay? And put that there. And I'm literally just gonna scoop up carrots, get them in the jars, like so. Y'all, this is such a simple process. I mean, it's just as simple as this. The carrots have been sliced with that mandolin and I'm dropping them in. I'm just giving it a shake there. Probably got a few too many in there. That's okay. I'll add them to the next jar. See how simple this is? And I am doing pint-sized jars because a lot of my carrots will primarily be used for um, adding to other meals. So a pint sized jar will be more than enough. And in the event that I might need two pints, well, that's fine. I'll use two pints, but I don't think I will be needing a quart of sliced carrots. Yeah, I don't think I'll be needing a quart of sliced carrots. It's just gonna be the pints. Yep. See how easy that is, y'all? That is so easy. It's getting them all filled. If that dog start barking. All right. There he go. Look at there. And not sure how many pints I'm going to get out of this 10 pounds, but it's looking pretty promising. All right, I'm just going to give these a shake down, help free up some space. Yeah. Free up some space, move them around, drop that one in there. All right, and that's that. And then I'm gonna grab some more jars and get them all filled. Now, before I do this, I'm gonna actually go ahead and get these filled with that warm water while the jars are still kind of hot. And again, then we'll get these inside of the pressure cannon. So let's go ahead and get some water added. I'm gonna move this to the side for now. Grab my water and my ladle and we'll get actually you all let me do this before we do that i'm gonna add maybe like a fourth of a teaspoon of salt to each one of these this is not a requirement but i'm putting it in there just to give it a little bit of flavor in the event we just have to eat carrots Okay, <laughs> just some flavor. All right, now we're gonna get the water added. This water is nice and warm as well. Yep. Get all of these ladled in and it don't take much either for these little paint sized jars. Now, I'm going to leave about an inch of headspace for these. 
okay? And in case you don't know what head spacing is, I'll tell you what that is here in just a second. Okay? Because the head spacing for different uh, product could be very different. Depending on what you're canning, the head space could be an inch. It could be a quarter of an inch. It could be half inch. But for carrots, it's going to be a one inch head space, okay? Moving on. Y'all, these are so easy to do. Getting these babies all done here. Okay, got one more to do, two more to do. Now you can feel free to season your carrots however you see fit, all right? You can season them, but I'm not doing that. I just added a little bit of salt, but you can add all kind of flavor. So now I'm just going to put this down in and debubble my carrots and get any air pockets out of the way. This is a very important step, y'all. Very important, okay? All right. Let's finish getting these debubbled. Okay, so now the water level dropped a little bit, so just gonna add a little bit more to bring that back to where it needs to be. Okay. It didn't even take a lot. Okay, I have my little vinegar here gonna dip that in the vinegar and remember the debubbling is done but now we got to wipe these jars down make sure that there's nothing around the rings the rims of these jars okay nothing that will prevent this from sealing the last three here and also if you're new to canning I didn't say this previously but if you're new to canning you always want to check your jars before you start, okay? Because you want to make sure your jars don't have any nicks or cracks around them, okay? Because if they have a nick or a crack, well, your jar is not going to seal, and you will have wasted all of that time, all of that hard work and energy canning product that would not seal, okay? So now I have my lids here. They've been simmering in that. Uh, warm water there and I'm going to go ahead and grab this first lid and put that on and I will say that of course Ball says you don't have to do this anymore but y'all I am going to continue to do this to my lids I'm going to uh, continue to sterilize my jars in spite of what they say okay all right yeah I'm going to do it anyhow <laughs> Because it's my prerogative. All right, y'all. Now I'm going to put the rings on. Now I'll say this about the rings. They're not new. <laughs> Had them for a long time, actually. But you can reuse these rings. The bands is what they're called. You can reuse those, okay? And I'm putting these on. You can reuse these. I'm putting these on. Fingertip tight. I'm not grinding down on these to where they um, are just absolutely too tight. Oops. So those are going to be finger to tight. And then we're going to take these and get them in the pressure canner. Look at how beautiful that looks, y'all. Isn't that gorgeous? Canned carrots. This is jar number one. Actually, they're not hot anymore, so I can just grab them with my hands and put them down in there. They're warm, but they're not hot. All 
all right you all so the first set of jars are in the canner but i need to show you something because i have more jars to put in so let me show you this okay so because i'm going to be putting more jars in the canner and stacking them you can't stack jars on top of jars in a pressure canner okay if you're new to canning you can't do it that way you're going to need another rack like this i have one rack already in the bottom of this canner that the jars sit on and if i'm going to be stacking my pints then i need another rack so i'm just going to simply place this rack right on top of those jars and now this is ready for me to add more pint sized jars to my pressure canner okay so now if you're new to canning this is only for pressure canning okay you don't want to double stack jars when you're water bath canning this is only for pressure canning okay so now we're going to get the rest of the carrots done get them stacked on top so we can get the show on the road all right y'all debubbling the carrots What I'm going to do now, wipe down the rims. Don't forget that part, y'all. Get them all right, wipe down. Okay, and now we're going to get our lids on. Bands are on, it's time to get them in the canner. Now. All right, you all. So now, carrots are inside. This is going on top, let me show you. See that? And this goes right here on top, just like so. Now, let's get the carrots in. Last one. That beautiful? Isn't that gorgeous? Let's get it in there. Okay, all of our pints are in the quart. I was wrong about how many this holds. So as you can see, 20 pounds of carrots has given me 15 pints, okay? Now I'm gonna crank up my heat. I got this on high and I got it make sure that it's balanced and that it is um, centered on the eye of my stove here and now I'm gonna grab my lid and because I just finished canning about four quarts of green beans I know that this is clear I've already checked it there's nothing stopping my nipple from popping in and out so now I can go ahead and get this on the can and then I can give that a close, pull that tight, and now we just got to wait for this to start venting. So once it gets hot, hot enough inside, this is going to start venting. I'm going to bring y'all back in just a second. All right, you all, my nipple here is up in the back. That's letting me know that the pressure has built in the canner and is building in the canner. And now we're venting. We have a steady flow of steam going here. I'm going to set my timer for 10 minutes because this has to vent 10 full minutes. Once it's done venting, I'll come back and add my pressure regulator right here on top of this vent pipe. And then we'll get this brought up to pressure. And I'll bring you back and show you what that looks like. Y'all stay tuned. All right. All right, you all. The timer has gone off. It has vented for 10 minutes. I'm going to grab my pressure regulator and put this on just like so. Turn my timer off. Now, this is gonna stay just like this until it comes up to pressure. For me, that's going to be 10 pounds of pressure for my altitude. You don't, if you don't know what your altitude is, you can Google that so you'll know exactly how much pressure 
you need to use in order to properly can your food, okay? And um, you can Google it. I mean, it'll tell you what your altitude is and you'll know what you need to do based upon that. Now, this is gonna come up to pressure rarely, I mean, fairly quickly. It literally takes maybe two minutes, three is pushing it, but it'll get to 10 pounds just like that. So I'm gonna wait for that to happen. I'm not gonna go away because I don't want this thing to go too far. I'm gonna wait right here and just watch this. And uh, once it gets to 10 pounds of pressure, I'm gonna reduce my heat to maybe a medium low heat and keep an eye on it to make sure that this will stay balanced somewhere between 10 and 11 pounds of pressure. Sometimes mine will hold steady at like 10 and a half and that's fine, it's no big deal. You just don't want it to fall below what it should be when you're pressure canning because if that happens, you have to bring it back up to pressure and you have to start your time, your canning time all over again and who wants to do that so i'm going to keep my eye on this once it gets to 10 pounds i'm going to reduce the heat i'm going to start set my timer uh, my um, i'm doing uh, quart size carrots so that's going to be canning for 25 minutes in my pressure canner 25 minutes after the 25 minutes is up i'll show you what we do then y'all stay tuned all right, you all. So the part that you missed because my camera went crazy was the timer went off. The canning process is completed. However, um, all I did was turn the, I turned the uh, timer off and I turned the fire off, but I haven't moved the can. All right. The pressure regulator is still on and the nipple is still up. And right now I'm down to about seven pounds of pressure from 10 pounds. So this has to go all the way down to zero, and especially for my newbies, okay? The nipple has to fall all the way down. Your pressure rate, your pressure gauge has to be down to zero before you can remove your weight or your pressure regulator, okay? Do not touch it, just let it sit here. And when that is done, then we're gonna come back together. We're gonna open this canner and take out those beautiful carrots, okay? Y'all stay tuned. All right, so the time has arrived. The gauge is down to zero. The nipple is down in the back. This has been sitting here for about 10 minutes. I am ready to take the lid off and look at those beautiful carrots. All right, y'all, so the first thing I'm gonna do is remove this pressure regulator. There was no or nothing like that that came out, so I know this was good. I'm gonna open this and just loosen that and give that a second, okay? Now, when you open this lid, be sure you flip the lid away from you. You do not want a face full of hot steam. That won't be good, mm -mm, that won't be good. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this open. Open it away from you, whoops, steam comes out. Y'all see that? Mm -mm. All right, now look. I heard a little pop or something in here a moment ago. I hope one of my jars didn't crack. I don't know. We'll see. It's not uncommon for jars to fail from time to time and crack open. And that is not a national emergency. It's okay if it happens. All right. That's why we can so much because sometimes it may happen. All right. So let's go ahead and get these out and get them on our mats. I got my, my little jar lifter here. Look at that, that's jar number one. Let's get them out first, I'll show you. That's two. Don't worry, I'm gonna show you. Good 
Y'all hear that? They're already pinging. Just look at that. Isn't that gorgeous, y'all? They're already sealing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Last one. Woo. Let me show y'all these babies. Do y'all see these beautiful carrots? Let me pan over here so y'all can see them. Look at that. Don't they look absolutely delicious? Right behind my four quarts of green beans that I canned earlier today as well. Y'all, this is awesome. All right, you all, so that is it. Thank you so much for watching today. Go ahead and give the video a thumbs up if you found it helpful. Don't forget to share, like and share, and also subscribe to our channel. So thank you all so much for watching Homestead Heart. Peace and blessings to each and every one of you. We'll see you in the next canning video.